Hello. Please go ahead and state your name and outlet and begin. Chao, Gio, Barstay, Los Angeles Times, en español. Hello, Jude. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, thank you. So, uh, the series is like uh, coming soon. It's just like uh, around the corner. And uh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right now with it? Because we all know that fans can be, Star Wars fans can be a little bit complicated, right? But, but I've, I've been like, I've been reading the comments, you know, that comes with the YouTube trailer, or they're mostly positive. There's more, people are kind of liking why they, why they saw in the, in the trailer. So good. Can be too bad. <laughs> good. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, whenever you launch a, a, a film or a, a, a TV series, a project that, you know, you've worked hard on and you've, uh, you've committed to emotionally, you know, there's always a little, um, a, little bit of, a little bit of nerves because it means a lot to you, you know, and you, 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 uh, you, you are invested in it emotionally and um, you hope, you want people to enjoy it and embrace it. I, um, I'm, I'm actually not on social media, so I, I never really follow any of that stuff. So it, it, oh, even yeah. if they hate me, I'll be blissfully ignorant. I mean, I'm pretty sure people will let me know. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I really believe in the piece. I think it's, um, I, lo I love the idea, the premise, the first time it was pitched to me by, by John and Chris and uh, I, I, think they've done a wonderful job of realizing it and um so you know fingers crossed people no, embrace no, no. it and then I, I watched the, the first three episodes and uh they're good and you're you're good you're good <laughs> you're good at it so thanks so that's that's good uh but uh, you, you're a very versatile actor but you've been already like in a few adventures movies even in adventure movies with pirates where you were like the main pirate. Mm. So you had some experience in the pirate war, but this is Star Wars, of course. So I'm a I very mean, experienced you're, pirate. You're a very experienced one. So <laughs> how, but how do you, how do you compare this, this job with the previous ones you have in terms of production? Well, you know, it's like Star Wars, experience? so it was kind of, it's hard to compare. They do things yeah, their true. way. It's a very recognizable universe. And there is a, a team a sort of filter team through which everything goes to make sure it's true to the to the universe of Star Wars and the aesthetic. Um, so, you know, other than the day-to-day -day kind of grind of filmmaking, which is something I feel very familiar and at home doing, you know, it, it, it's hard to compare because, it, they, they, like I said, they do things their way. It was the first time I'd ever worked on volume, which is, you know, these, this incredible... Um, uh, virtual sets uh, out in Manhattan Beach and um, the first time I'd worked with uh, the puppeteers and the animatronics that they use um, on Star Wars so there were a lot of firsts for me yeah um, and quite hard to compare like I say other than the the, the familiarity of going to going to work on a film set and then uh, your character Jod Nana Wood He's a mysterious man. Uh, I mean, we know that he could. I mean, he, he he could know how to use the force. Maybe he's not always telling the truth. Uh, so you portray good and bad guys throughout your career, like very convincingly. So portraying a more ambiguous character sounds kind of perfect for you, right? How do you feel with it? How do you approach? I just it? liked the opportunity to play someone with so many contradictions and so many uh, uh, sides. And, you know, he's he, at his heart, he's sort of trying to figure himself out. He's trying to survive in uh, pretty desperate situations. He's very versatile, quick witted, tough. And, uh, you know, he has to be because because, you know, he, he doesn't have an awful lot offered to him. He has to go out there and make things happen. And those kind of roles are they're fun. You know that you can you can have fun playing them. And how was working with the kids? You have experience with kids, right? But how was working yeah. with these kids? They're, they're teenagers, really. They weren't teenagers when we made this. They oh, no. they were a delight, honestly. Uh, I, I I I treated them, and they, they 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 performed as just actors. They arrived every day, very ready to work. 
They were all incredibly professional. Um, of course, they brought a lovely, youthful energy to the set. They, 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 they you know, they, they had everyone laughing, they had everyone giggling, and it was fun. And I, I liked that sense of play on a film set. Certainly, on a piece tonally like this, it needed it. And um, it was a very positive experience. I have a, I have, I have a lot of time for all four of them. Really sweet people. And then uh, I have to ask you, what is your relation with like Star Wars, the Star Wars universe? Of course, you, you grew up with, uh, with the movies and everything, but uh, were you really a fan? Certainly, you know, you couldn't really avoid it when, when I was a child. It, it changed cinema. I, I, I remember going to the movies to see, you know, Disney animated films, uh, but then Star Wars came. And really my entire experience, my entire perception of cinema changed because I'd never seen anything like it. I don't think anyone had. And I think, again, like an awful lot of children I knew, it became an absolute, you know, passion. It was what we played in, 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 in the yard. It was, what we, it was what we played with the little toys. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, obviously, I was a child then. I'm an adult now. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I was a, I'm ab, as obsessed as I was. Yeah. But I've always been... Uh, it's always had a very soft spot in my heart that the, the, the concept of the universe is... is you know, it's fabulistic and, and it's smart. And uh, so uh, this was my opportunity to look behind the curtain and, 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 and try it myself. What is your favorite movie from the Star Wars universe? Um, think about I think it. <laughs> probably Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> but I also think Rogue One is particularly good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It being a series, you, you probably thought oh my, they made a, a really good series with Star Wars. So yeah, I mean, it's worth the risk to be a part of a new series, right? Yeah. What do you expect people to take from this one? You know, I think the concept was so smart to make the protagonists children, real children, children who don't get on with each other. Some of them have a happy time at home, some not so happy. Some are good at school, some are not so good at school. And through their eyes, through the eyes of innocence or fear, to then look at the universe afresh, look at the Star Wars universe afresh. And it reminded me of the young boy I was going to Star Wars the first time. You know, I filled in all the gaps with my own youth innocence. And I think to, to put them front center is just brilliant. So I hope that that joy, that awe, comes across and that the audience leave with that. And, and like any Star Wars adventure, I hope they enjoy the, the spills and thrills. And uh, there's, a, there's a good combination of humor and action. Sure, sure. Thank you very much, Jude, for your time. And Pleasure. thank you for your work. And Thanks, mate. Have a, have a great you. rest of the day, man. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you.